Well, I'm just the kind of guy that takes people as they find them. No real affiliations in my life, you know, uh, strong beliefs until you meet certain individuals. I can tell you that my experience in Israel was positive. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of regular Jews out there. Some of them, um, very many generations, even passed through the creation of the state of Israel 70, <coughs> 70 years ago now, excuse me. Um, so, you know, my heart goes out to these people, but then I look at the Palestinians and, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's not a very nice thing that's happening to them in particular. Um, but this is where I think that people are not going to be able to obviously live together until Yeshua comes and he really um, sets things into order as we read about in Revelation 7 and 14 the 144,000 Jews are uh, taken uh, to be with them in the Mount of Olives it's also mentioned in Zechariah 14 now the orthodox view is that there should be no state of Israel before the coming of the Messiah. As I've mentioned before, yes, the Bible does suggest there will be a part um, gathering of some of the Jews, which has happened the past 70 years. These guys have not been part of it. They've refused to be part of it. So just what is, uh, who do you support if you're Christian? Well, I think that if you're Christian, uh, first of all, if you're a Messianic Jew in Israel, they've actually stopped you from getting married. They've banned um, traditional marriages within Messianic Judaism in Israel. So that is uh, an extreme persecution among their own people. I know quite a lot of Messianic Jews who refuse to uh, even look at another Gentile. If they suspect they're a Gentile, they won't marry them. Even if they're a believer, you know, in Yeshua, they believe in the feasts. Still, they keep themselves very strictly Jewish. Um, and so what we have in the, the Christian church is, of course, uh, an anti-Messiah being perpetuated. It's not the Jewish Messiah. It's not the Jewish Messiah anymore. As in Yeshua, his name is Yeshua. But it's a false messiah that they're perpetuating, that they're teaching. You know, this stuff is not enough in the mainstream media. Many Orthodox and other Jews just saying, look, uh, we, we don't really want to be part of the, the, the Zionist state, you know, of, of Israel. As I say, even though my time there in Israel last year, I think what I did lose was one of my uh, memory sticks, which had flyers in it. So maybe they, maybe they disarmed up so that I couldn't print my flyers off. That was about the only thing that I could say. Well, that wasn't so good. Um. Hallelujah. But of course, you know, the biggest story of all is uh, that the, tr the true Jewish Messiah is a deliverer in such such a bigger scale than what we see in the natural. He came to deliver his people from their sin, in other words, from hell itself, from an eternal hell. That's the real reason that the Messiah came. Yes, he, he will come the second time to set up an absolutely perfect, flawless 12 tribes of Israel who are doing things exactly the way he wants, uh, according to the Old and New Testaments, especially according to the, the New Covenant, which uh, the Christian church are not doing. They're not anywhere near keeping the New Covenant. The New Covenant includes not naming or following false gods. Um, you know, we, let, let's look at the, the, the past feast that's just happened. 
uh, you know, we've done flyers on it, videos on it. Uh, they use the excuse of Jesus' birth, which it is not. But they really use it to put up trees, which is pagan. Uh, they put it, yeah, use it to have mistletoe, which is pagan. It's not in the Bible. They use it to put up wreaths. Don't have many examples here, but a wreath is uh, pagan. Is that a flat earth there? That's also pagan, by the way, the flat earth. A wreath. Let's try and get wreaths. I know that's not how you spell it. There we go. This is really pagan. Very satanic. Nothing to do with the true messiah. At all. You know, I've done so many... Uh, videos on this and the internet and just a bit more information you know Christmas tree p being pagan stockings mistletoe wreaths advent candles yule logs Santa Claus all of it's pagan man not taught by the Messiah not taught by the Bible either you know the event of Ishtar uh, one of the most pagan events in uh, the pagan calendar as well it's not Christian at all um, painting eggs red and it's to do with child sacrifice and uh, you know this symbol extremely pagan very much connected to the Nazis as well um, goes back thousands of years you're talking about fallen angels interdimensionally tra traveling around which I believe they did during the Second World War as well with the Nazis they had space gates and so on and a space gate is just like a rabbit worm so the this symbol is like very very potent and within paganism people don't realize it but when I was in Germany I do get dreams and visions wherever I go and uh, the Lord showed me that some of the Nazis were able to step in and out of uh, portals and that this symbol symbolized what they were and what they were doing and they're probably some of them were probably fallen angels as well um, so all, all this symbolism uh, people don't realize what it is it does not represent uh, Jesus Christ or Yeshua the Messiah it's very very occult very very pagan and I can guarantee if any Christians are doing this um, before Jesus' uh, second coming, you will not, not be raptured. You'll not be in the rapture. If there's a resurrection later on, maybe it'll take to the second resurrection for you to uh, get into God's kingdom. Because if you're doing these things and you're, you're talking about being raptured and all that stuff, you're actually taking part in paganism. It's very much included that if you read Jeremiah 10, you can read about all this. You can read about putting trees up and baubles on the trees and decking it with silver and gold and eat, eating hot cross buns. They're all pagan. Nothing to do with the true Messiah. If you want to be in the rapture, if you want to be in God's kingdom, you'll stop these things immediately immediately it's just not legalism to to tell you this this is satanic paganism you know do you think that jesus is going to uh, be happy about this when he comes he's going to reward you with little chocolate eggs and all that stuff i mean you're really not following the true messiah truly truly not following him if you think that jesus um likes this that he puts up with this that he, that he actually uh, gets entertained when these things happen absolutely not absolutely not the, the true spirit of these festivals this is what that truly is very very satanic they're not commanded by the Lord neither did Jesus come to fulfill these festivals he came to fulfill the biblical festivals that's what he is here the Passover lamb not the Easter ham he's the Passover lamb 
yes I mean people think that this is not important that you know uh, if you've got a deliverance ministry you know a miracle ministry that that's more important than this not at all all these fake charismatics all these people that do fake miracles from the fake messiah these people are going to hell and they're taking a number of thousands of people with them to hell this is the stuff you really need to know this is the stuff that you really need to keep this is the knowledge of God this is the knowledge of Jesus Christ you got to be a good witness to the Jew first and then the Gentile God is not playing around you know, uh, I, it just amazes me that I have to continue or the Holy Spirit continues to prompt me to make these videos because a lot of you out there are not taking this information seriously. You sit down and watch these videos, especially those in the UK, by the way, um, because this country is just a, a rabbit war in itself, really. You know, uh, you know, that's what the roads in the UK look like most of the time. and police just jumping out putting tickets in your car for any old reason it's a nightmare it's, it's, it's one of the worst countries I would say to live in at the moment in the United Kingdom and I will be taking steps to try and to try and leave this country you know uh, as, lo as long as we have any amount of time left um, this country's finished it's, it's absolutely um, no one really cares about their their spiritual life or about truth the United Kingdom is going to be judged very very harshly and severely when God begins to judge it um, so it's in really the Lord's hands if, if I'm going to be around when that happens but it's just in his hands really so I'll just be trying to follow the Lord I don't know where this picture comes from but yes Sunday is not the Sabbath it's not the Sabbath the Trinity, yes, in its roots, yeah, I mean, it, it, certainly pagan. I do believe in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but the Trinity itself, pagan. Jesus is not his name. His name is Yeshua. Jehovah is not the God, uh, Father's name. That's absolutely right. It's Yod, Tev, The law is not done away. Absolutely right. You know, the commandments are for the believers when, when we're born again. Jesus was black. Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know if he was white either, but he, he wasn't black. He wasn't a black African. He wasn't white European. So what does that tell you? Uh, he's, he's Jewish. He's slightly brown skin, I would have said, but, uh, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is they came to fulfill the Jewish festivals. And if you're black or white, I believe if you're born again, you can still get born again and be saved but we have to be an example God is looking for a non-racist example of his body on the earth and uh, there's just too many racist organizations out there the black Israelites and British Israelites and all these different different ones um, we need to come together with a, a spirit of understanding a spirit of love and uh, that's that's what the Lord wants. I believe that um, when Yeshua returns in the 144,000, I believe they'll be from uh, many different um, colors. I think they'll be from white to, to, to black and all the colors in between. So uh, God is not a racist. Uh, it's a good chance that if you're truly born again, if you're truly... <clears throat> um, concern with God's commandments and holy days and what is what is truthful and right there's a good chance that you'll be in that uh, number when Yeshua returns it's a very good chance no matter what colour you are and I personally don't have uh, any colour codes or race codes for Jeshurun because I've met both uh, white and black and uh, brown and all different types of colours who have uh, come under the same teachings as, as the Lord has shown me so not at all I would I would never say that uh, these teachings are just for a certain race absolutely not definitely not a racist this is a pagan trinity this is the kind of thing that 
you know, in paganism, there's, there's fake trinities and false trinities, and that there is a um, a feminine spirit as well uh, within the churches. You gotta be aware of a uh, very, very heavy pagan spirit within the churches today. Don't be fooled by any of them. If you see wreaths on doors, Christmas trees, eggs, anything like this, um, no matter who they are, they are not walking with the Jewish Messiah. It's just as simple as that. They're not walking with him. They're not pleasing to him. And just remember that. Now, even though this woman, uh, we're not clear if she was Jewish or... Christian or atheist or what exactly she was she was definitely a Marxist and she founded the uh, Fabian Society in 1884 in the UK which is now affiliated with uh, the Labour Party uh, or you could say it's gradually came into the Labour Party but it's uh, socialism and as a Marxist you know that socialism leads to communism you see, so this is all about the anti-Messiah as well, the spirit of Antichrist. Very, very much uh, sort of sewn into a lot of culture in the UK. She wrote about 40 books for children, and so you can imagine all the Marxist ideals that are going into... And she's not the only one. <clears throat> she was said to be one of the founders of the... Uh, um, society which is right here Fabian Society a um, little bit of information about it but what I, what actually is is taking people's rights and freedoms away for more government control that's basically what what uh, socialism does um British Socialist Organization, purpose to advance principles of democratic socialism, which we've really been hit by. America's been hit by through Obama, and uh, you know their deficit has just gone through the roof. As well as uh, some very unbiblical practices, Obama bringing in, of course, gay marriage, which is anti-biblical, as well. Uh, so these people are trying to dethrone God, which if you read the you know the Communist Manifesto and all these books that these people read and put forward, and um, yeah, many of them are in the secret societies. It's all about dethroning God Himself and bringing in the Antichrist or the Anti Messiah. Yeah, strangely, some of them very much tied to to Zionism as well. So again, it's just part of the Antichrist spirit in the last days. You know, this is probably the first uh, of the world's Antichrist, Nimrod, whose birthday was in December the 25th. And uh, in fact, all the Antichrist festivals are something to do with this guy. And then you've got secret societies which uh, study these things and try and promote uh, all these things uh, even though Christian governments and etc etc um, you know originally were teaching the Bible but now through all these movements socialist movements they're just uh, teaching lies they're teaching teaching wickedness you know this symbol very much associated with uh, the Antichrist, that's the 33rd degree. But well, you see it in places like uh, Lanark in Scotland, like some, um, and obviously Russia has a very similar flag, which just tells you who's really running things. That's all that it tells you, really. Uh, this uh, coat of arms saying that. Um, Ich din, I serve, and you've got the dragon there. So, you know, the spirit of Antichrist is right through all the churches, headed by the one 
World Luciferian uh, Religious Movement by the Vatican, the World Church Movement. <clears throat> um, all of them just uh, puppets of Rome, really. This guy, of course, wrote uh, his letter to uh, the Italian general back in the 18th century. The outline of the three world wars. Of course, uh, financially is what they're probably going to bring the world to, possibly this year. Single currency. Um, you know, one world bank, one world government. And of course, they're moving the American embassy to Jerusalem, which uh, is very significant because they'll try to, I think they'll try to uh, run things from from Israel, from uh, possibly Jerusalem. All these commissions and societies, just all about doing the same thing. So these Luciferians are uh, very much involved in these secret societies, whether they be Catholics or whatever religions they pose in during the day. They're Luciferians just trying to bring the world under a one or a spell of a one world government, one world currency, one world religion. This is what they want to replace Islam and Christianity and even Judaism if you like with just sheer Luciferianism. That's what they, they want to bring in during the Antichrist reign. How close we are to that at the moment uh, I think we're pre pretty close to it, to be honest, because I think Christianity is pretty much uh, it's a false Christianity, and uh, you look at the other religions, and they're just controlled. That's all they are. People are not really thinking for themselves anymore. They're just uh, being manipulated, allowing themselves to be manipulated by these guys. We should keep the Jewish Orthodoxy in prayer genuine Orthodox Jews who try to hold on to their uh, religion, its uh, ideals, and uh, I'm not sure how many of these Jews, will, if, if, if any of them will be in the 144,000, I think they'll have to have a relationship with the Messiah in order to be part of that group. So I really think that these are the guys that we should... Uh, you know, speak to their Messiah about, you know, Yeshua. What do you think, guys? Rather than going to Israel and being uh, hit by turnips and uh, melons and cabbages, well, hand some flyers out to these guys because maybe they got a better understanding of of the Word of God and, and uh, the second coming of the Messiah. Sounds crazy. We're like, well, Jesus already paid the price. You know, there's a lot of husbands that are out there that want their wife to submit. So he just said that Jesus hasn't paid the price for your soul, and there's husbands that want their wives to obey the word of God. <laughs> According to him, it's an abomination. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite games of all time. PC games is uh, XCOM. Uh, this is just a trailer for XCOM 2, but I think it's going to have a huge tie in to the end times. And uh, you know, I've obviously written a book, Starstruck, about the end times, so I know there's going to be some kind of a already what, what we got, you know, um, uh, in our world system you know, promoting the AI and different things like that, you know, the Lord really showed me all that would be happening just before his coming, so, yeah, um, the spirit of Antichrist is in the churches, my friends, um, what else can I say, I could show you some other pictures of, you know, people, Buddhists meditating in churches, I'm sure it, might, it won't surprise you, but, yeah, like Queen's Park Baptist, uh, people at the back with mats, you know, in this position for most of the service, you know, when I was there a few weeks ago, 
could be happening in a, your local Baptist church or your local evangelical church, but uh, it's the one world religion of the Antichrist. False preachers are promoting, <coughs> uh, using, you know, obviously the, the Vatican and the Pope heading it all. All these false preachers like Todd White, uh, Benny Hinn, uh, this guy, you know, Star Wars. You know, all of it is uh, bringing in the false Antichrist, God of Forces, as it says in the book of Daniel, chapter 11, I think it is. Um, Luciferian religion, there we are, look. You think Christians are going to put that hand signal up? <clears throat> you think they're going to think that's a Christian? A Christian thing to do there? No. No, of course. If if you're totally uh, deceived, you'll think it's Christian, but uh, no, it's very much uh, satanic. These are the horns of the Antichrist, the horns of the devil. Right there. 